Hello YouTube, Matt here from Forensics with Matt, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to root EODate OS. It's a bit of a more involved process than the lineage one that I documented a while back, but it's still pretty cool, so without further ado, let's get into this and get into the video. So I'm here in my browser now with the OS over the air update page. And so what you need to do first to get the OTA for your the device that you have is you need to find it on this list of devices here. <coughs> Sorry. On this list of devices here, so in this case, mine is the Pixel 8 that I have. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to find the one that you have and OTA.zip and download that. And then just download it to a, a folder where your downloads are. And in my case, it'll be in this folder, this download folder that I created on my computer. And yeah, there's going to be a payload dumper that we have to get. So while that's downloading, It's more than halfway done. I have super fast internet. But anyways, while that's downloading or after that's downloading, I'll find the payload dumper. And I'll be back to you when I find that payload dumper. So I'm back with the payload dumper go utility thing that I have that I have on my computer. So what we're going to need to do here is we're going to need to go to this version right here and download whatever it is that we have for our version of Windows. And so you would click on this to download it for Windows AMD 64 if you're on a regular 64-bit Windows, and I don't see a Windows version for Windows if you were on ARM. But when you when you finally get it, there's going to be a tar.gz file, and you extract that twice. Okay, you extract it once to get this tar out of it, and then another time to get all of the stuff that's inside it out. And then once you're done with that, you're going to have... You're going to have just these three things, the executable file, the go file, and... Or sorry, the executable file, the readme, and the license. So now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go into this Yoday OS OTA.zip file and you're going to extract that. And so it'll be done momentarily. And then once that is done, okay. Here, now you're going to go back to the folder, payload dumper, payload dumper, and drop this thing in here.
And so I'm going to copy this over here. And then so you're going to extract everything with this payload number extractor tool. And what we want is we want this boot underscore up here on one boot underscore. We want this in an underscore boot .img. And so now once we have that, we're going to plug our phone into the computer with a USB cable. So let me grab my USB cable now. Okay, I have the USB cable and I can plug it into the computer now. So then with this initboot.img now, what we're going to do is we're going to copy this over. And under pixel 8, actually I'll just put that under the download folder. <clears throat> And then I'm going to pause the video now and I'm going to go over to the phone. Okay. I'll see you on the phone. Okay. Hey everybody. Welcome to the phone and let us go to our box first and then our download and verify that we have this initboot.img we're gonna delete that because and we're going to delete that as well because we don't need those and then we're gonna go into magisk and then under magisk we're going to go here we're going to go to install it we're going to press that and select the file to patch which is that one that, that we just saw in our downloads and then we're going to do the patch and then voila that's it And so now that that's done, we can 
disconnect the phone and reconnect it because we're going to need it again after this. So after I disconnect it and reconnect it, I'm going to click back to the computer. And with that, I'll cut this off and join you guys in the computer in a bit. Okay. So now we see this here, this Magis Pass patched boot that we just saw. And so I'll just go, I'll just push that over to my downloads folder. Go there. <clears throat> and open that in terminal. And so we'll do an ADB command, we'll issue the ADB command, AD reboot bootloader. We'll allow that on the phone. And then we'll list out the downloads and we will pick up Oh, I'm not in the right folder. Okay, we'll do, we'll copy that. <clears throat> okay, and we'll do that. We flash that and it finished. And we will reboot the device. And I will join you guys back once the device, once I'm able to get into the device. Everyone, welcome back to the device, everyone. And let's open Magisk first. And we see it has here under Magisk, it has 28.1 installed. And so we'll use my root checker basic app in order to verify that it is rooted. And again, it is rooted. So we got this whole process of rooting done. So what we had to do in order to do this was first off, we downloaded the OTA for Yoda OS 6.3. 
which you could see I have right here. And then we took out the payload.bin from that and extracted any underscore boot dot dot image file. And after that, we put it onto the device in our downloads folder, which is right here. We put it in our download folder right here. And then we opened Magisk in order to patch that to get root on it. And we did it by using this. We selected and patched the file. And then we transfer that over to our computer and and after transferring it over to the computer, what we did was we flashed it back on to our device after we put it into fast boot mode. And then after putting it into fast boot mode and flashing it onto our device, we successfully rebooted back into it and verified that we have our root and we see it here in the app and under our root checker app here so with that out of the way we fully have root now and we can move on to more things with this device and i can let you guys go and let you guys do this on your own now, thanks for watching, and this has been Matt from Forensics with Matt telling you about how to root Yoday OS, which is one of the many privacy focused Android ROMs out there. And until next time, I hope you guys have a great day, and Matt out. <laughs> Thank you.